Hello everyone. In this video, we have 5 square 5 to the power 4 times 5 to the power 6 dot 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 5 to the power 2n is equals to 0 0.04 whole to the power minus 28. We have to find the value of n. So let's start. First of all, we can write 0 0.04 as 0 0.04 as 4 divided by 100. And if we divide 100 by 4, we get 25. So 1 by 25. Therefore, 0 0.04 whole to the power minus 28 can be written as 1 by 25 whole to the power minus 28. And we know that 1 by a whole to the power minus n can be written as a to the power n. So from this we can write 25 whole to the power 28. Now let us write this first. So 5 square times 5 to the power 4 times 5 to the power 6 dot 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 so on 5 to the power 2n is equals to 0 0.04 whole to the power minus 28. And again we know that a to the power mn can be written as a to the power m whole to the power n. So from this we can write 5 square whole to the power 1 and 5 to the power 4 as 5 square whole to the power 2, 2 times 2 is 4 and 5 to the power 2 whole to the power 3, 3 times 2 is 6 and so on, 5 to the power 2 whole to the power n. And we know that 0 0.04 whole to the power minus 28 is 25 whole to the power 28. Now in the next step, 5 squared is 25 whole to the power 1, 25 whole to the power 2, 25 whole to the power 3, dot dot dot, 25 whole to the power n is equals to 25 whole to the power 28. And again, we know that a to the power m times a to the power n can be written as a to the power m plus n. So therefore, we can write 25 whole to the power 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 so on plus n is equals to 25 whole to the power 28. Again, we know that sum of n natural numbers can be written as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus n can be written as n times n plus 1 divided by 2. This is the sum of n natural numbers. So let us replace this here. So we can write 25 whole to the power n into n plus 1 by 2 is equals to 25 whole to the power 28. Now if we compare this both sides, so we will get n into n plus 1 by 2 is equals to 28. Now in the next step we can write n times n is n square plus n 2 times 28 is 56 so minus 56 is equals to 0. So in the next step we can write so our sum is plus 1 and the product is minus 56 so we will take n square plus 8n minus 7n minus 56 so plus 8 in minus 7n is plus n and 8 sevens are minus 56 so minus 7 so in the next step we will take common n so n plus 8 minus 7 n plus 8 is equals to 0 in the next step we can write n plus 8 n minus 7 is equals to 0 therefore our n is minus 8 and 7. Since n cannot be in negative, so our answer is n is equals to 7. This is our solution. Thanks for watching.